The next is our school board spotlight, and Mr. Bounds, you'll be leading that. Madam Chair, board members, we always uh, are a pleasure to celebrate some great things going on in the district. We have two wonderful celebrations this evening. Um, first, we're going to ask the board members to come forward so we can honor uh, two great accomplishments here in the district. The first we'd like to recognize is Harbison West Elementary School. Could I please have the contingent, the, the principal and the contingent from the SIC come forward from Harbison West Elementary School? They were recently recognized as a finalist for the uh, Dick and Tunky Riley Award for School Improvement Council Excellence. A School Improvement Council Excellence? Yes, ma'am. Um, they've worked actively to promote student and staff accomplishments uh, and bolster student achievement and done just a fantastic job. Harvest and West recently worked alongside the staff in the local library to establish the Summer Stride program, which was a reading program for students. Here comes Kindergarten, which is a school readiness program, and the group also partnered with Palmetto Health to increase, increase school activity levels for students and staff. Harvest and West Principal Arthur Newton, who's here this evening, said Harvest and West Elementary SIC has proven its commitment to making a long-lasting impact on our school and ensuring students at Harvest and West receive a world-class education. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing Harvest and West Elementary School School Improvement Council. Joining uh, the principal tonight is Ms. Bonnie Ward. She's the SIC chairperson. And also we're proud that she represents the works at the Education Oversight Committee. Congratulations again. <coughs> we also have very, another very special recognition this evening. An additional 12 Lexington Richland County School teachers have earned the prestigious National Board certification this year and 28 teachers in district renewed their certificates. District 5 has the third highest number of National Board certified teachers in the state, currently having 352 teachers with that prestigious certification. Tonight, we'll recognize the teachers who've earned the National Board certification this year, and then those that, uh, that earned the honor of renewing their certificate. So we'll do it in two shifts. We're gonna first recognize those teachers that became National Board certified this year. When I call your name, if you're in the attendance, please come forward. Emily Berry from Chapin Elementary, Terry Crosby from Dutch Fork Elementary, James Gillum from Dutch Fork High, Rebecca Gillum from Spring Hill High, Jenny Haynes from Dutch Fork High, Georgette Meyer from Dutch Fork High, Lori Myers from H.E. Corley Elementary, Sarah Poole from Seven Oaks Elementary, Marty Reese from Dutch Fork Elementary, Carrie Tucker from Crossroads Middle, Carrie Waring from the Center for Advanced Technical Studies, and Kayla Williams from Harbison West Elementary School. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in honoring our newest National Board Certified Teachers. And teachers, we're going to ask you to squeeze in with the board for one picture. Could we get half of the National Board teachers on this side of the board? very much. And now just uh, receiving the National Board is only the first step. You also have to get recertified and tonight we'll recognize those teachers that are renewing their certificate and we have 28 of those teachers. Again, when I call your name, please come forward. Susan a Applin from Dutch Fork High, Kelly Broadingham from Dutch Fork Elementary, Kelly Brown from Crossroads Middle, Erica Cartledge from H.E. Corley Elementary, Gail Cutter from Ballantyne Elementary, Ann Downs from River Springs Elementary, Elizabeth Dressett from Chapin Middle School, Gail Gallman from Dutch Fork High School, Deborah Gascon from Dutch Fork High, Amanda Hartline from Oak Point Elementary, Kristen Hill from Harbison West Elementary, Carol Jackson from Dutch Fork High, Justin Jones also from Dutch Fork High School, Julie Krusen from the Center for Advanced Technical Studies, 
Amy Lauder from H.E. Corley Elementary, Jane Melvine from Oak Point Elementary, Paulette Moses from Ballantyne Elementary, Buffy Murphy from Irmo Elementary, Celestine Pugh from Dutch Fork Middle School, Amanda Roosh from Dutch Fork Elementary, Paul Shino from Chapin High, Robert Shearfield from Chapin High, Sharon Shirley from Oak Point Elementary, Allison Smith from Irmo High, Sally Summerall from Dutch Fork Elementary, Laura Ward from Irmo Elementary, Lindy Went from Lake Murray Elementary, and Ashley Ziger from Lake Murray Elementary School. Ladies and gentlemen, please recognize these representatives. Did I miss anybody? Okay. Or get half on the other side. There we go. Congratulations again. Madam Chair, this concludes our spotlights for this evening. All right, Mr. Bounds, thank you very much for that, and congratulations to all of the teachers. Wonderful accomplishments. Um, next is the approval of the agenda. May I have a motion to 